What's going on everyone? 413 Bros back with another video. So we're in the Jeep today and I found something amazing. I have half doors and uppers, right? I don't have full steel doors yet. It is the middle of November. It's getting cold. And the one fatal flaw I found with half doors is they're cold. So I'm gonna flip you around. See, I just went and got gas in this about a mile down the road, right? This was closed. This is broken. There's no, there's no spring to this. Today, we're gonna fix that for like three bucks, guys. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to try to use the heat gun and heat this plastic up to make this a little softer. So if you can see here, there's a little tab there and down below. What I'm gonna do is try and pop this out. So I'm gonna set you guys down and I'm gonna heat this up for a second. All right, now I'm gonna try and see if I can get this to pop out. Oh yeah. Give it a shot with a flathead. What I'm trying to do is trying to get this to lift up and pop out here. There we go. See what I'm doing? Popping out the pin. That came out really easy with a heat gun. So what we're gonna do is I've got these springs here. So I've got these springs, handyman springs. These are a little long, but what I'm gonna do is cut them probably in at least half. And we're going to take and put a piece of this spring in between here. So what that's gonna do is, when this is in here, it's gonna make it have spring tension to keep that closed. All right, we got our spring chopped in half and our piece. This is what we're looking like. Now, I don't really know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna give it a shot. I'm gonna heat this up quick. Spill out. All right, but top is in, bottom's in. Oh, that is so much better. Okay, so now you actually have spring tension here. See that? And it actually latches and stays. That's it guys. Well, I hope this was useful for you guys. Um, I would definitely recommend getting a smaller spring. Uh, I'll link these below anyways. All I did was just take a grinder and cut them in half. So these are I think like an inch and a half long. I think if you used like three quarter inch springs, you'd be fine. But that's a huge win. So super easy. All I did was heat that plastic up as you can see and stuck that spring on there, pushed it back in for easy. Now the windows are gonna work fine. I'm gonna repeat the process to the back and the other door. And yeah, thanks guys.